folks, and welcome to another night of Hiller Soccer. I'm Steve Sweetapple along with Frank Schnurr and John Ritz on camera as the Hillers welcome the Ashland Clockers in here at the high school on the turf field. Hopkinton with a 1-2-3 and three record and Ashland with a 2-1-1 one, one record. Usually a very hard-fought uh, matches between these two, Frank. Yeah, they've got a uh, nice rivalry going over the last several years. Two towns bordering right on each other. Yeah, and these, these same two teams will meet tomorrow in Ashland at 515. They were supposed to play this weekend, but they were snowed out. Ashland coming in with uh, two wins over Belling Bellingham and a loss and a tie versus Medway. Uh, Hopkinton is... And we're underway. One win, two losses, three ties. We've got Ito. Ito controlling in the middle. It's out to uh, Peter DiMichele, making a nice move there. Stolen and out of bounds by Declan Mick on the left side. It's intercepted by Ito to Schnoor over to Aryan Shaw. Back to, well, it was dangerous at the top of the box battle between Gon and the Ashland striker. Ashland shot on goal. <laughs> nice tip away from Pat. <clears throat> yeah, Pat Kranz got a, made a nice leap to knock that wide. Ball was bouncing around in the box and uh, shot on goal by the Ashland striker. Corner by cleared out by Hopkinton. Trying to find here's Fazington up front. That's a COVID foul. Ito is going to put this back in play to Mick and uh, out here to Green. Back to Mick. Dangerous pass. Okay, Pat was there. Came way out to uh, get that pass. Yeah, Hoppington seems a little a little sloppy, a little loose here in the first couple minutes. Andrew gone on the free kick here. Short to Arjen Shaw. It's a dangerous pass right up the middle with a defender on his back. Mm, that was a back pass. Yeah, the goalie picked up the back pass. It's interesting. No call on that. Stolen by Schnoor. Pass back to Krantz. Clears it long for Ito. Chest down to Schnoor. Back to Ito. Puts it long for um, Spencer Spoon Smith on the wing. Now it's coming back towards Andrew Gon. He's cleared it up to Spoon, who's knocked it inside for Vasington to Schnoor. Across to Ito. And out to Pierce Farrell on the left wing. He puts uh, Schnoor through on the left. He's going to slow it down, and that's a COVID foul there. <coughs> Is that about uh, 30 yards out? Let's see what they do with this. Schnoor has eight goals on this season, many of them coming from free kicks. It's another shot on goal. He's looking nicely taken. Wasn't over by much. Yep. Does he get that from his mom? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. His uncle's a big goal scorer, actually. <laughs> For those of you wondering what Frank and I are talking about, we play together. And 
Frank's got a cannon. <laughs> yes, I made a late career transition from defense to offense when I started playing over 40. <laughs> okay, we got um, Green and it's a nice cross by Gone, but Goalie takes that very confidently. Skoro Domov, the goalkeeper for Ashland. An aggressive hat comes off his line. Schnorr chests it down to Ito. Stolen by Ashland in the midfield. Stolen by Peter D. McKelly and then stolen right back again. Now coming down the wing is Ashland. They get a cross, easily handled by Pat Krantz in goal for Hopkinton. Pat rolls it out to Andrew Gahn, captain central defender for Hopkinton. He's got a number of assists on those uh, set plays as well. Schnoor controls back to Mick, over to Andrew Gahn. He's going over the top here to Spencer Smith. That runs out of bounds. So it'll be Ashland kicking. Stolen by uh, Green. Knocked up to Smith. There's going to be a handball call there against the uh, Ashland midfielder. The referees and the players, Steve, seem to have gotten a good handle on these COVID rules. And yeah. We, we're getting a lot more, or a lot less whistles and a lot less confusion. This is into the box here with the uh, Ashland keeper is there to pick, scoop it up. This goes just dis good distribution out to the wing. Nice pass. To the, oop. Nice pass to the middle, but intercepted here by Green. Green's pass intercepted by number seven for Ashland, who's making a strong run down the wing, cross with his left foot, and there's a striker was right on it. That was a dangerous situation, broken up by. Yeah, Ashland's got some speed up top. I'm not sure if it was Mick or D. McKelly who broke that up, but it was a good job to break up that dangerous play. Here's oh, a nice turn by Smith, and he loses his footing. It's going to be a kick in for Ashland. At the beginning of the season, with the confusion around the uh, COVID rules, we even had referees arguing with yeah. each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is Geary, knocks it in to number five, Costa. Costa's on the ball again, number five. Cleared by Gon, but not very forward. And number 10, Villa Gracias. Arjun Shaw on the ball now, back to Green. And that's a uh, run out of bounds, attempted pass to Smith. Gear is going to kick it in to Ortiz, who goes back to 21. Jensen coming back, back up the left side now. That's, That's a, a nice, lovely ball. Yeah, nice just off ball. sides. <coughs> Looking for uh, Tyler Robinson there on the uh, on the through ball. Pat Krantz and Andrew Gone are going to combine for this uh, free kick here. Krantz sends it long. Farrell gets a touch on it. Ashland's taking control back to their keeper. Keeper long ball, stolen by Di McKelly, intercepted by Ashland, number 16. It's going to be a COVID foul there as well. It's a long kick up front. 
cleared by Mick. It's going to run out of bounds for a corner. With the COVID rules, we've got to have, um, <coughs> we've got to play these corners short and on the ground. All the free, free kicks need to be short and on the ground. This is going to be a cross off the short pass. Krantz picks it up at the short post and runs it up to the top of the box, giving some direction to the team. Then distributes it short to Andrew Gahn, up to Shaw. This is nice coming out of the back. Green intercepted by Ashlyn, number 16, Gary. Let's run over the line for a uh, Hopkinton goal kick. We have number three coming in for Ashland. That's Dever, Maxwell Dever coming in for number 11. This is out wide to Green. Down the wing to Smith, controlled by Schnoor. He's got some time, he's made some time for himself. Nice turn, but looking, looking for it through the wing. Vasington's got the uh, ball back to Green. Nice move by Gon. nice pass by Gon to Shaw. Shaw, a nice turn and pass to Ito. This looks much better. Oops. Boy, that looked like a handball from here. It did. We've got another incidental uh, contact COVID foul here. Ashland will have a kick from uh, their own side of the field. Long ball. Green steps up. It's number seven now against Green. Nice nag from Pat. Number seven for Ashlyn Manis. <coughs> Has some nice speed and good uh, foot skills. Here's Ito um, controlling the ball nicely. Ito was voted uh, MVT, MVP of the team last year by his uh, teammates and coaches. He's got one assist, I think, so far. Oh, he's got one goal. Yeah, he's got a goal. He's got a goal so far this year. Plays in the defensive center mid position. This is a long ball up front. Bouncing the uh, Vasington trying to get there. Green. Looking to chip it over, gets deflected. Pushed forward by Ashland, controlled by Mick. Mick's looking for, okay, we've got a push on uh, Ashland. Short, they take it short. Andrew Gon gets it long. Ito controls out to Smith, back to Green. He's trying to get it back to Smith, that ran out of bounds. Definitely the coldest year we've, t coldest day we've had this year uh, for a soccer game. A lot of the players are wearing leggings and gloves. Nice turn by Farrell. D. McKelly, Schnur intercepted by Ashland. Number eight with a few nice touches there up the middle. Dentino is number eight for Ashland. Dentino's on it now. Pass got deflected and eventually cleared by Hopkinton. Here comes. Okay, he's going back and forth. Now Pat Krantz is going to pick that up. Distributes it quickly out to Farrell, who can't quite get a <coughs> handle of it on it there. That runs out of bounds for an Ashland kick in. Yeah, 
Russians passed it back here. They've got control of the ball. Stringing a few nice passes together here. Ventino. Nice move by number 18 there. Oh, a nice pick off by Ito. Lazington trying to turn on his man. Looks like we've got a foul in the center of the field there. It's going to be a Hopkinson free kick. Like we've got number eight, Mateus, on the sideline waiting to come in now for Ashland. Gone, chips it up, looking for Spoon. Gets a foot on it. It's played out of bounds by the uh, Ashland defense. Green's going to take this kick in with Gone. Actually, they could should be able to get this into the box. Team does. Strikers don't look quite ready. And its keeper is way out of position, too. Gone gets it into the box, cleared by Ashland. Farrell challenging, picked up by number four, Herrera, into 18. Pinto <coughs> across <coughs> to Gary here on the left back. Looking for Robinson, but intercepted by Gone. Gary intercepts again. Tintino makes a nice pass up to the front line there. It's broken up by Mick and cleared out by Farrell as far as number two, Donovan. This is coming out to Gary again. Left-footed cross to the box, cleared by Hopkinton. Number eight is Dentina. No, d number eight, yes. No, eight, number eight is Mateus in the middle there. Controlling Mateus again. Back to number 10. Across to Gary. Left-footed. He's just clearly a left-footed player here playing left back for Ashland. Vasington challenging. Pass back to number 21. Jensen. Gary's going to be on this free kick here. Rasington backing off 10 yards. And it's back to Jensen. Cleared up. Broken up by Shaw. Gone coming forward. He couldn't get control of it before he ran out of bounds. Okay, subs coming in for both teams now. We got number 13 for Hopkinton. Which is Melissetti. And number four, this is uh, Mashad for Hopkinton. Farrell got his hand on his back there. It's going to be a COVID foul for Ashland. Take the cleared out by D. McKaylee. Back to Ashland. Nice run down the wing, cross to blocked. Second cross blocked again by Hopkinton. And finally cleared out by Mick. Seems like there was a foul committed there. Yeah, that was COVID foul. A little too close together. Yep. And yeah, we're coming up on two minutes, so the official time will now be kept on the field. It's Farrell back to Schnorr. To Gone, to Ito. Oh. Ito's put this through nicely to Mashad. Goalkeepers come out strongly for Ashland. And they're battling in the midfield here. And I think that foul is against Schnorr <coughs> for contact. <coughs> High ball there. Oh, that's that. a header. That's not. A, that's uh, Ross uh, Kunkwich. Another captain that plays in the center center back position for Hopkinton. Uh, 
that's um, a low driven shot uh, cleared at the top of the box by Andrew Gaughan. Now it's um, Mashad coming down the wing with playing nicely with Vasington here. Vasington is uh, into the box, pulls it back nicely. Going to get a shot off there, blocked by the defender. Malasetti challenging in the center of midfield. Ashland's controlling in center of midfield. Nice pass out to Gary here. And broken up by Michaud. Michaud. Actually plays it into the middle, to the forward. Now that passes behind his teammate there. Number five came back for it. Pushes it forward. Shaw gets called for coming from behind, <coughs> tackle from behind. Coaches are anxious that the uh, team make, move quickly and take advantage of this free kick situation. And that's the end of the first period. Tied up 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, pretty entertaining performance. I'd have to say Ashland looked like they were a little sharper than the Hillers in that first period. Yeah, I think they were stringing more passes together in the midfield. Um, Hopkinton had some moments where they were able to do it, but uh, uh, Ashland looks uh, the better of the two sides so far um, in terms of controlling the center of midfield. Both keepers playing aggressively in terms of coming out and yeah. playing the ball. Yep, they are. Um, they both look very confident on the ball. And both these teams will meet again tomorrow night at 515 at Ashland. And then the final weekend of the season, this coming weekend, the Hillers will have a home and away series with Bellingham. Yeah, Ashland had a couple of opportunities there in that first quarter. Um, I can't remember any real opportunities for Hopkinton in that, uh, well, I guess, the um, direct kick. Yeah, right? Owens kick, just over the top of the crossbar. Yeah. Have, have we seen Sean no. Olimbeski out there nope. yet? No. I wonder if he picked up an injury. Yeah, it was a little different starting lineup than what we've seen the last couple of games. I didn't know if it was boys got some just some nicks and Yeah, we're lucky the wind died down. It was really cold earlier today with the wind and that we don't have any precipitation. Um yeah, last night's girls game was just nasty with the wind. But a great performance from the girls. A 3-1 victory over Ashland. And a, and a truly dominating performance. What's their record so far? I don't know. I, I, think, that, I think they must be like 4-1 and 2, something like that. They're... Great. Playing very well. Yeah, the girls' program in Hopkinton has been strong for the last few years. And the boys have switched sides, so Looks Taylors like will be going right to left on your screen. Looks like Dee McKaylee is starting out here left back with Green and... Uh, yeah, and that's how he that's where he started the first half because Declan was playing with um Andrew in the, in the middle. middle. Yeah, now Ross is in the middle there with Andrew. Andrew gets this wide now to uh Michaud. That's gonna run long here. Pat's gonna deal with it. He clears that, it runs all the way through the circle, center circle. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Ashland's winning more of the 50-50 balls here as well. Rashad trying to beat his man down the wing there. That runs out of bounds off the defender, so it's going to be a Hopkinton kick in. So we've got Farrell here on the left side. Looks pretty open. There's a foul, foul against Gone there as he was trying to dribble through from his center back position. Gon's had a couple assists on this type of uh, <coughs> this type of free kick. You got Schnorr and Vasington in the box. Farrell at the back post. Here comes the cross. Played across to Farrell oh, nicely. Just, just hit the top of the ball. Just scuffed it. Yeah, didn't get all of that. A, a right-footed shot there for Farrell. He's naturally a left-footed player. All right, Ashwin's controlling this. Moving forward. That ran out of bounds. It's going to be an Ashlyn kick in. Ashlyn controls in center of midfield. Nice pass. A couple of nice passes there. Number 10 has it stripped away by Malisetti and out of bounds. Number 10 is Villas, Villas Gracias for Ashland. Apologies for any mispronunciation there. Now Ashland has a free kick from about 30 yards here. It's a low driven ball to the top of the box. Um, broken up by Hopkinton. Nice through ball, just came in a little hot. Looks like that's run out of bounds. <coughs> Via Hopkinton kick in. Declan Mick passes this in to Andrew Gone. Picks his head up. It's kind of a dangerous it's pass a, there, right across the It's a middle. very dangerous ball. Peter DiMichele tried to get that out to Farrell. It ran out of bounds for Ashland will have a kick in here that's paramount to a corner kick, maybe even more dangerous from this spot. Number 11 beats his man down the wing. It went off Ross for yep, a corner. For a corner kick. It was number 11. <coughs> Cordelitis. Kick in. That comes back to number 16. Chips it into number 12 for Ashland. It's cleared away by Mick. Taken down by Oof. Mashad, who is <laughs> in turn <laughs> taken down by the uh, Ashland defender. All right, Andrew Gon's going to put this into play. Short pass to Malisetti. Deflected back. And that's going to be a COVID foul against Hopkinton. <coughs> He's 35 yards out. Um, he should be able to get this into the box. Strong chip into the box. Chested out by Mick. Controlled by Schnoor. Michaud, Michaud, sorry, gone. Mick challenging. That's gone out of bounds off of Ashland. All right, gone. Take control of this. Long ball up to Vasington. That's going to run out of bounds. Be an Ashland kick in. Ashland controlling, controlling this back to the keeper, across the back. Looks like he's going to send a long ball up to through the middle. 
Finds his striker there. Ashland driving nicely towards the goal. Run across the middle. Picked off by Ross. Komkowicz. Schnorr picks it up on the left wing here. Beats his man. Passes it to back to Ito. He's going down the wing. Oh. Very rare occurrence. Ito lost the ball. Trying to beat his man. Schnorr loses it to uh, number 11. Cordelidis. Oh, that went under Gon's foot, and this is a dangerous situation. <coughs> Broken up by Hopkinton, Ito to Schnoor, out to Mashad, up to Vasington. Can he get there first? Oh, that's cleared out by the Ashland defender. That oh, might have deflected <coughs> off of Hopkinton there. Number four, Herrera, Ben Herrera coming in for Ashland. Placing number 12, Spencer Roth. Well controlled by Ashland in the middle. Nice pass out wide here, number 15. Nice move into the middle. Controlling the ball well, Ashland. Nice pass picked <coughs> off by Schnoor. Nice turn by Di Michele up to Schnoor. Nice work in tight spaces there by Hopkinton. Schnoor looking for Malassetti down the middle, picked off. Picked off by, uh, or cleared by Komkowicz. It's all the way back to the Ashland keeper who clears it long down the middle. Shouldered nicely by Malassetti, taken down by Pierce Farrell. He lost his feet there. The referee didn't, <coughs> didn't blow his whistle for that one. Malassetti coming back nicely, uh, but picking up a COVID foul on that challenge. Another chip into the box here. Shouldered out by, well played by Farrell. Ito got trampled there in the middle. And by number 22, Lucas DeMora. Ross touches this for Andrew. Nice move, touches it outside for Di McKelly. Di McKelly looking for Schnorr, got, got picked off. Di McKelly gets it back again now. Ashland controls it. Stolen back by Hopkinton and deflected out of bounds <coughs> by number 15, Carlos Espino. This is Di McKelly and Schnoor. Back to Di McKelly, up to Malassetti. He gets a tackle through the back. Ito takes it quickly to Schnoor, but they're going to call that back. This is going to be an indirect kick here. All right, it's a direct kick. Difference of opinion as to whether that was a COVID <laughs> foul or right, a regular or, or foul. Regular foul. <laughs> All right, Andrew Gagan is going to kick this one. He throws it up down the line to Farrell. Farrell should be able to get a good cross. He gets a nice cross off. Handball. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the defender lost his footing on the turn there and had no other choice but to... Uh, they're not not—they're not giving a penalty. Oh, maybe he hit it with his head, not his hand. Oh, because he was on the ground. Okay. So they've got <coughs> an indirect kick. These indirect kicks are very challenging for the defense. The players need to stay six feet apart. They're so close that basically on the... Um, they have to stand on the goal line and remain six feet apart. Um, Stand in the goal. Stand in the goal. 
Ito and Schnur have um, done a good job of the timing here with these kicks. All right, the referee is making sure they're all spaced appropriately. Yeah, Ito shouldn't kick this until Owen yeah, is almost on the ball. Yeah, he doesn't touch it until he moves. He waits for Owen to make his run, and then he, he'll tap it across. Oh. <coughs> Not sure what exactly what happened there. They've they they? got, to, got to wait for the second whistle. Okay. All right. No surprise around what's going to happen here. So mm. <laughs> Schnorr keeps it low like he did there. Oh. He blasts that one over the top. Will there be a conversation about that tonight, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sure his teammates will give him some, <laughs> some ri ribbing about that one. <clears throat> he actually struck the first one. Exactly correctly in terms of keeping it low and um, making it hard for the defenders to, to get at it. All right. Ashlyn coming forward. Hopkinton intercepting, and they've got a free kick now. It's going to be an indirect free kick. Huh? Yep, indirect free kick. Don't love that short pass. I'd rather see the little touch off and let Andrew drop it in the box. All right, this is Declan Mick on the ball. He's going to touch it to Andrew Gunn, who drives it forward. Schnoor's going to get on the end of this, controls it. He's got men on him. Nice Plays layoff. It oh, this could be a great, yeah. Good, nice shot. <laughs> Goal! <laughs> that, was an er that was an error on the keeper. He was there. It's, he just it went through his hands. Yeah, nice. it, was, it was well struck though from Pierce. Yes, it was a it was a driven low shot. Um, keeper needed to get down and uh, make a save on that, make a quick reaction. Couldn't quite get there in time. So at the seven twelve mark, we've got our first score: Hopkinton one, Ashland zero. I think it was Owen Schnoor with the assist there, right? He, he touched that one to the yes, outside. Yes, he did. Yep. Nice little toe poke. Yep. Drew a bunch of defenders into the middle. This is dangerous from Ashley. Oh, coming nice forward. play from Peter. Yep. Peter DiMichele steps in to break that up. I got Mashad letting this run for a uh, kick in. Well, Pierce Farrell, he's had a couple of chances uh, so far this season. I think that's his first goal of the season. A well-struck uh, left-footed low drive uh, inside the box. Ashland's got it, going to drop this in. They've been doing well. That's a shoulder ball. Reflection. Well done by Peter to win this, bring it to the outside. And a long ball down the wing, trapped well by number two. Awkward pass into the middle there. Ito and Malasetti controlling there. Through to Schnoor. Nice touch by Schnoor. Oh, Whoa, Sam's just offsides. <coughs> this is this is better in the last few minutes yeah, from Hopkinton. They're combining nicely. Short passes. There's Mick up to Mushad. Stolen by Vasington, back to Ito. Nice turn by Ito. Yeah. Read well by number five, Costa, for Ashland to break that up. But there was, some, of course, some incidental contact, which is a COVID foul. Ito back to Gon in a tough position. Back to Ito, back to Gon. This is out, this out to uh, Ross, who comes storming up the middle, a little too far in front of him. Ito gets the deflection, and uh, Vasington make the nice. Oh no, that sorry, that was uh, Mashad. That was Mashad who passed it back to Vasington. Nice run by Mashad. You would have liked to have seen an advantage played on there because Mashad had 
it open down the right side. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think there's an advantage though with the COVID calls. I think they're 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 just going to call the close contact and disregard any advantage. Yeah, we've seen that we've seen that <coughs> before for sure. All right, looks like Schnorr is on this. Looks like it's going to be some kind of direct shot. Well, he Didn't miss by much. Yeah, he, did, was, he was shooting from way out there. Well, without, without the ability to use your head, you know, usually that then, would be a chip yeah. into the box yeah. for a header. Because you would, you would think with both Ross and Andrew going up, you got two big targets yep. to aim at. Thanks. But the fact that you can't head it just takes that whole element of dropping it in the box, makes it much tougher to control. Yeah. Oh, looks like... Uh, I think Ross got kicked. Ross got kicked there. He's pretty tough. He's going to walk this one off. All right, we got Mick and Gon combining for this. This is going to be a cross. Oh, no, they lay it out to the sideline. Nice play by Hopkins. And that's a cross to DiMichele. Oh, he had a chance for a shot there, but well broken up by the Ashland defense. This is Andrew Gon. He's probably going to play it back. Nope, he turns with it. Finds Ito out to Mick. And uh, Mashad broken up by Ashland. Now Gans, Gans got it in the back. Nice turn out of danger up to Mashad. Broken up by Ashland. Ashland's coming forward now. Ashland at the 25 yard line. Nice turn by number 12. He picked <coughs> up a cut. Nice turn by Spencer Roth there. Create some space for himself. They got a COVID foul. Now they've got a indirect kick here from 25, almost 30 yards out. This is going to be indirect. Now, can this ball be kicked in the air? No, they're going to do nope. the short thing. That's the way yeah, to play it was COVID. It's a chip. Well played by Malisetti. Nice step from Mashad. Here's Ito up to Vasington. Vasington beats his man to the outside, but that runs out of bounds. It's going to be a Hopkins and kick in here. Yeah, it's Declan Mick out there. It's going to combine with Andrew Gunn. Andrew's going to lay it in there towards the top of the box. He's gone down the wing looking for Vasington there. Schnorr picks it up. Schnorr looking to get across. He gets a corner out of that play. Not much time left here. Yeah, less than two minutes left in the half. They're going to have to move quickly to get this off. We've got Farrell and uh, Tor Ito. Farrell touches it to Ito. Ooh. It's clear. Whoa. Ooh, that's a dangerous play. Very dangerous. That was a bad kung fu movie move. <laughs> uh, this will be a free kick for Hopkinton about 20, 30 yards out. 25, 30, yeah, it's th 30 yards out. Taps it to Schnoor. Inside of a footed shot um, right at the goalkeeper. Picked up nicely by him. He might have been hoping for a deflection there. Schnoor dribbling at the top of the box. Ito gets the uh, deflection, plays it to Mashad. And now this is going to be another free kick for <coughs> Hopkinson. It should be in the box. Dangerous, oh, it's a COVID, COVID call. Dangerous spot here. They're going to play it like a corner here. It's going to be a... Pierce is going to take this with his left foot. Oh, he takes a left-footed shot there. And there's the half, folks. So 
Two periods in the books, and Hopkinton one, Ashland zero. A very entertaining second period there, Frank. Yeah, uh, both teams are moving the ball nicely. Um, play mostly up the middle. Yeah. Some play over the wings, but I'd like to see more play over the wings. But they're getting um, they're getting into dangerous positions. I'd I would say both teams creating chances there in that uh, in that quarter. Um, Hopkinton definitely looked better in that quarter than they, they did. did in the they first did. quarter. They did. They had a little more energy. They weren't getting beat to the 50-50 balls. So we'll take a 10-minute break, and we'll be back with the second half. Here is the Hopkinton Hillers take on the Ashland Clockers. Hillers with a 1-0 lead on a goal from Pierce Farrell with the assist from Owen Schnurr. Clockers going right to left on your screen. I don't see any real changes for the Hillers out on the field, Frank. Looks like the same starting lineup. Yep. Yep, they got Smith out there again. He started the game. Schnorr driving towards the top of the box. Beats his man. See if he can get a shot off. There's a shot. Deflection to Smith. Oh! <coughs> Unlucky there. Smith kind of ran by it and it came did, back yep. and uh, eventually got a shot off, but uh, goalkeeper uh, was right there for Ashland. Green uh, breaks that up, up to Fazington. Strong challenge. Smith back to Shaw, across to Schnoor, to Ito. First time back to... Um, Farrell, who's dribbling through nicely. He's got some time and space now. Lays this outside for um, Peter. Peter DiMichele. Dribbles it towards the middle. Finds Schnur in the box. Back out to Farrell across. This comes back to Green. And kicked forward by Ashland. Picked off by Nick and out of bounds. We got number 11 now, Cordelitis. Gary's going to kick this one in. Number six up to 12. Picked off by Gon, Shaw, Smith, Schnoor. Nice passing here. Schnoor dancing in the middle. Now puts nice ball. Vasington through. He's going to collect this and get a cross off. Cross comes to the top of the box. Arian Shaw shot to the near post. Um, goes just wide. Decent shot there by Arian Shaw. Defensive center midfielder uh, getting into the attack. I like to see that. Andrew Gone. Shaw. Ito controls back to Farrell. Looks like he, Farrell's playing in the defense now. Looks like Farrell and uh, Di McKelly have switched there. Di McKelly in the midfield now and, and Farrell uh, playing in the defense. Okay, Ashland's kicked this in, dribbling towards the center. Okay, all the way across the field here to Gary. He's got that left foot, likes to drive it low. This comes out to Ashland, plays it intercepted by Hopkinton. Out to uh, D. McKaylee. Schnoy making the run down the wing. <coughs> oh, there's little a foul. takedown. Okay, Ito's got this now. Back out to Farrell. D. McKaylee. Keely, or Ito's picked this up in dangerous spot. He puts Vasington through. Nice ball, but Gary breaks it up nicely for Ashland. Okay, Farrell's gonna, looks like he's going to touch this into Vasington. He's going to put it across. Drives it across. Broken up by the Ashland defense. Smith. With Oof. <coughs> Attempted kind of over that. Yeah, he was, he was. He was. <laughs> he 
got it going in the right direction. I'll give him that much. Uh, back towards Schnur there. Um, goalkeeper picked it off. Now here comes Ashland at midfield with uh, number 11, Cordelitas. Gon's going to pick that off. Passes it to Green. And there's some incidental contact, at least. Um, and it'll be a free kick for Hopkinton. And Green's going to tap this back to Gon. Sends it across the top of the box to Ito. Passes it. There's some dangerous passes in the center right in front of goal here. Um, In the end, uh, Krantz handled it confidently. Ian McKelly, hoping for the advantage call there. <coughs> he had beat his yep. man. Looks like Farrell's going to kick this in. Back to Ito. Back to Farrell. Now he's going to chip it through. Offsides. And uh, Spencer Spoonsmith. Uh, offsides in that play. All right, this is played back to number 21, Jensen, and then out to Gary for Ashland. Broken up by, back to Jensen, who clears it long. Taken on the chest by Shaw. Yeah, it hit his hand. Did it hit his hand? Okay. Oh, no. Guess not. It's called a COVID fall. Hmm. And Jensen and Gary are going to combine on this one. Up to uh, number eight. It's Mateus, I think. Or is this? No, that's number 11. It's Cordelitis. Looking for um, the man on the wing that didn't make that run for him. Schneider's got a man on his back. First time pass to D. McKaylee. He's making a run. Stay on side, Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer Smith comes back for it. And uh, that's picked off in the midfield by uh, very capable Ashland midfielders. Oh, there's a bad pass. It's picked off by Vasington. Schneider's right. through, but he's offside. Yeah. <coughs> Vassington was just late getting the ball off his foot. <coughs> yeah, no, I think the pass would have been a little bit too hard for Schnorr to get there anyway. Nice defense from Green. Yep. Mick to Ito. Ito makes a move and passes it back to Green. Green makes a move, gets that poked away back to Mick. Clears it up to uh, looking for Smith, but he Smith was on the back of the Ashland midfielder there. Okay, we've got three subs coming in here for Ashland, or waiting to come in for Ashland. Gary's controlling this up to number five. Costa was looking f to put a through ball through there, but that ran too long, and Pat Krantz has picked it up. He's looking to distribute. Another dangerous distribution to the middle of the field. Um, broken up by Hopkinton. <coughs> Very frustrated with that call. Vasington leaves it for Green and gone. And pushes forward here. Smith in the middle, Vasington down the line. The ref is really reminding them to wait for the whistle here. I think the ref needs to blow the whistle sooner. <laughs> fair, fair enough. There's too much time between the first and the second whistle. Okay, Gon's going to chip this long for Smith and Vasington both there. Oh, Vasington comes away with it. It drops, uh, broken up by Ashland. That's a dangerous play, playing it on the ground like that. All right, Ashton controlling up for past midfield, number 11. Broken up by Gone. They take the quick uh, free kick. Nope. 
they're going to have to wait for the whistle. <coughs> going to wait for that second whistle. And Costa and Gary. Gary lays that up the middle. Chested out by Gon. And number 10's got it. Stolen by Ito. Laid out to Di Michele. Di Michele on the ball now. Out to Schnoor. Schnoor's looking up. Slows it down to Ito. Nice move by Ito. Pass across to Mick. All the way across to Green. Into Sh looking for Shaw. Broken up, but Green gets it back. Out to Vasington, nice ball in his stride. Vasington against the defender, beats his man. Oh, and he's in the box, and he's got time. He crosses it. Oh, he had he had Smith at the right top at the of top the of the six. Of the six. Yeah. <laughs> Just, I would have liked to have seen Smith screaming for the ball. So I'm not sure if Vasington was looking to pass it to uh, D. McKelly, who was running in right on I the know. keeper. I don't know. He was, he was, going, he was, he was going for the shot. shot. He okay. was going for the shot. He earned it. Okay. Fair enough to take a shot from there. He didn't get a lot on it, um, unfortunately. Didn't have a lot of uh, juice on it there. But beautiful run and, and dribbling by Sam Vasington. Goalie kicks this one long, chested down. Vasington controlling now. Dancing, still got it, not lost it. And cleared by Ashland, up to Gone, controls it. Deck to Mick, to Green. Wow, well done on a very tight space there by Hopkinton, but broken up and stolen by Ashland, stolen back by Hopkinton. And uh, this is kind of like ping pong going from one team to the other here. I can't keep up. All right, it'll be a free kick here for Ashland. Number eight, one of the substitutes on the ball. Oh, no, that's number... That's a different number eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That is not <clears throat> Mateus, I don't think. All right, Spencer Smith looking for Schnur there. That got picked off. Now here's a nice attack by... Ashland down the wing, number 11. Cordelitas beats his man, gets a maybe a shot off there. Went over the over the bar and wide. We got number three coming in. Max. Then Max Dever. This will be a goal kick for Hopkinton. Andrew Gone puts it on his right foot, kicks it long, chested down by Ashland. Ito controlling nicely, lays it back to Farrell, up to Schnoor, into the McKelly and Schnoor. He kicked that long. I'm not sure if that was a pass. No, he was trying to. Trying he, to yeah, he was. Him. Yeah, he was just. He okay. was trying to run by him. Yep. The McKelly mm -hmm. now. Off the kick in. Oh, he nice crosses ball. this nicely oh. to Vasington. Touch was long. Schnorr almost got to the end of that. Now Ashland coming forward. Good step by Jack Green. Ashland's got it in the middle, controlling the ball number 12. Looking for number five on the wing. Picked off by number three here. Nice cross the field pass. That one got away from uh, the Ashland midfielder there. That's nice, come forward. nice defensive play from Ito. Yep. Okay, Ashland will have a kick in here. He finds... It's, it, you know, with these lights, it's tough. I should have worn my glasses. It's tough to see the numbers. <laughs> well, what you should... So, <laughs> last night at the girls game, we've got the 40-mile-an-hour wind straight in our face. And I look over at Tom Nappy and... Tom had forgotten his regular glasses, so he had his sunglasses on. So we're at night, and he's got his sunglasses on, trying to read the roster. I'm having trouble seeing the numbers on the field um, of, the, of the Ashland players. They're kind of small numbers on their backs. Um, oh, 
Under six minutes to go here in the third period. Hopkinton one, Ashland zero. An Ashland kick in in a fairly dangerous spot. You saw Norton score off this position a couple of times, uh, or at least once in the last game. Okay, we got a foul call here against Ashland. Got Malisetti and Mashad coming in for Hopkinton, and number 14, Tyler Robinson, coming in for Ashland, uh, waiting to come in on the sideline right in front of us. Ashland stringing together some nice passes here. It's gone down the wing, number three, and that's cleared out of bounds by Jack Green. Okay, here come the subs. Looks like Spencer Smith is going off. Um, <coughs> and Jack Green is going to get a rest as well. Peter D. McKelly is going to come over and play right back for Hopkinton. It looks like Ito is going to move up to a attacking midfield. And Schnoor has moved up to striker. Yeah, they, they're missing Golombeski, Hopkinton is, this game. He's been their uh, target man up yeah. front. Um, yeah, when they go down the middle. And, yeah, he's a, he's a troublemaker. He's always getting free and controlling the ball and running at, at defenders. Um, he's, been, he's been a handful for Hopkinton's opponents so far this season. This is Jack Green on the, right, on the left side now. Oh, Mashad is off. That's Mashad, sorry. Mashad and Green are two of the sophomores on this team. It's Farrell and Melisetti. Stolen by Ashland. Number five. Oh, well picked off by Sam Vasington. But uh, Jensen plays that back to the keeper. That one got away from uh, Dean McKelly and out of bounds for Ashland kicking. Like Dentino just needed to tie his shoe and plays that in. And unfortunately, that runs out of bounds. Okay, Dean McKelly beats his man, passes it to Vasington down the wing. Nice touch to Ito. Too much contact there. It'll be indirect for Hopkinton. Gone lays it long down the wing for Vasington. Broken up by Ashland. Vasington got there first, and I think that's why he got the call there. Yeah. He got, got there first and got the touch on the ball. So this is a dangerous spot for Hopkins in here. I don't like this goalie's positioning. Oh, Schnorr tried to dribble that one, and now they've got our recover here. This is dangerous for nice step uh, from picked Andrew. up by Andrew Gahn, and now Michaud <coughs> trying to take it down the wing. He picks up a foul. A lot more fouls in the days of COVID. But we're glad to be out here playing. There's a through ball. Played out of bounds by Ashland's defense.
Coach Sawyer calling for defensive center mid Arnie Shaw to stay back with Andrew Gunn is pushed forward. And one nothing lead at the end of the uh, third quarter here. That's a nice cross. Oh, Basington just couldn't. Just half a stride. Yeah. He was just half a stride Couldn't quite get it. there. Nice play by Hopkinson. Not as many dangerous chances um, for Ashland this quarter again. Hopkinton's gotten... Uh, and that's the end of the third period. So Hopkinton one, Ashland zero. This The first half was kind of like, um, or this the third period was kind of like the first. They're both just kind of still feeling each other out. But uh, Hopkinton definitely had a, more possession in that in that third period. Yeah, I think Ashland, um, they've got some strong um, players in the center center of midfield. Um, and just uh, uh, as they come forward, they're just, just looking for that combination to play with the strikers. It's just not happening for them. And Hopkins is not on their heels anymore. In the beginning of the game, they're on their heels defensively, but they're attacking the ball now. Yeah, I think you nailed it earlier when you, you said they're winning the 50-50 balls. I think the first quarter they were, I don't know if they just weren't uh, weren't as aggressive as they needed to be on, on those 50-50 balls. So these same two teams will meet again tomorrow, 5-15 in Ashland. Under the... Oh, will, they have, will that be under the lights as well? It yeah, must be yeah. With the, yeah, it's got to be. It'll be too dark. It's funny, Owen was hoping for a, uh, for games under the lights this season, and it didn't seem like it was going to happen with the way that the schedule was. Then this came out of nowhere. So the boys take the field, we'll switch sides, and we'll get our final 20 minutes of soccer for this chilly Monday night. Steve Sweetapple, Frank Schnur, and John Ritz on camera. I always loved playing under the lights, especially at home. It was, you had a tremendous home field advantage. It's always intimidating for Way teams. I never got to play under the lights in, oh, maybe one game in high school I played under the lights. More games in college. Oh, that runs unfortunately under Farrell's foot, and there's a strong attack down the wing here from Ashland. That's going to be a free kick. Um, Dangerous spot. Yeah. Shoulder charge that would have been fine in <coughs> non COVID days um, by Farrell. It's going to get a, you got to be careful here. Number 20 is going to lay this off for number eight. Poked away by Hopkinton. Shot by number two. Comfortably taken by Krantz. Distribution wide. Hopkinton's coming forward. Ito on the ball now. Back to Vasington. Back to Dean McKaylee. Now this is out wide to Mashad. Mashad looking for a pass. And that's picked off. Oop, looks like there's an injury in the center of the field there to the Ashland player. Yeah, Ito got him. Number t 22, Lucas Demora. He's got to come off because he went down. I think the trainer's going to take a look at him, but he's jogging pretty comfortably here. Oh, looks like he does have an injury. Mm. Entragon plays this up for Schnoor. Controls it nicely. Nice, nice control. Just lost his footing. Now Ashton's coming forward. 
And on the left wing, number three, Dever, Max Dever, making a nice run. This is going to get called that, that again. Was, I mean, literally, <laughs> Pierce just put his hand out and it grazed him. That was rough. Okay. Yeah. Number five, Costa here. Is, it looks like he's setting up to take a cross or make, an, make a pass. Costa passes it back. Number 20 sends it across for Ashland. Picked off by Hopkinton. Knocked back in by Ashland. Shot. Um, <coughs> didn't give Pat much trouble there. Pat rolls it out to Gone, out to Dean McKelly. That's picked off in a dangerous spot. And across, Pat Krantz comes out, picked that off. And we've got uh, Arjun Shaw on the ball. That got stolen by Ashland. Shaw's got it back again, looking for a pass. Broken up. Ashland's got it. Controlling now, Ito's stolen in a dangerous place. Oh, nice ball! Gonna put ball. Schnorr through here. Great ball on the left side. <clears throat> Schnorr's driving into the top of the box. Makes a move, and the defender does on well there to poke it away from him. That was a lovely ball from Ito. Yeah, nice, a nice tackle by Ito to win the ball there, and beautiful pass. Okay, and they're back live again. Um, shot on the ball. Stolen by Ashland. Picked off by Mashad. Mashad. Mashad to Schnoor. Picked off by Ashland. Ashland controlling the center of midfield here. Pass back. And forward now to Robinson. But Gon is there. Gon gives it all the way back to Krantz. Plays it first time back to Gon. Got that deflected off the the gone and gone. Looks like it's going to be a kick in for. And that was in the air. Yeah, you can't. Got to do the show's <coughs> short kickings. All right, here comes a bunch of players for uh, Ashland. Robinson coming out. And number 11. Cordelia is going back in. Number 10, Villa Gracias. It's back in for Ashland. This is, this is number seven. Nice player as well on the ball. Too much dribble in there. Lost it. Nice passing here. Ends up with a, a nice play by Ashland with a dangerous chance on goal there. Um, That was the best chance the Clockers have had so far. Yeah, some nice pat, nice give and go passing there. Create that opportunity. A corner kick for Ashland, broken up by Malisetti. Ashland still has nice it. Nice save from Krantz. Shot to the near post, driven hard right at Krantz though. He's right there on the near post. Another corner for Ashland, cross short. Cleared by Melisetti. Ashland pushing again. This looks like he's going to give a free kick right at the outside, right on the outside of the box, or right inside the box. It looks like it's probably going to be. It looks like it's right, right, right on it. Right outside the box. <laughs> These kicks are very hard to defend because the players have to stay six feet apart. Can't make a proper wall. This shot is kind of looping to the far post. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if that was mishit or you intended to do that, but I was surprised he didn't put it on net. Yeah, that's a, a dangerous opportunity wasted by, um, by Ashland there, fortunately.
Okay, now we've got um, coming on for Hopkinton, Arian Samaga, number 17, and Griffin Curtin, number 18. Coming off for Malisetti and Arian Shaw. Nice chest by Ashland, the Ashland defender. Nice move out wide by Ashland, controlling well, attacking, picked off. Curtin, nice tackle. Cleared forward, intercepted by Ashland. Played it out wide, that's probably gonna run, that's gonna run out of bounds. Good idea by the center back there for Ashland, just too much on it. Yeah, we're going to Farrell touch this in for gone. Rashad. Rashad controlling it. Foul against Ashland. <coughs> Long ball from gone, taken by the Ashland defense. Pushed forward, well played by Mick. Schnoor picks this one off in the center of midfield. And he's put Basington through here if he can get there. And he Basington did. does very well to win that ball. Threw on the keeper, off hits the, the post. post. Basington hit the post uh, after making a very strong move to the ball and, and uh, driving a goal. Had the keeper beat, but hit the post uh, on the far side. A great opportunity there for Hopkinton. Now Peter Jim McKelly, a nice cross, but no one is no there. One's there. And uh, this is cleared. I think uh, one of the Hopkins players there yeah, was, was confused. Spencer. Confused about where, where the line was. Andrew Gahn crosses that into the middle. Looking for Schnoor. Couldn't quite see who was on the ball there. Farrell now. Back to Gahn. To Ito. Ito looking to play it to Curtin. Now we got Mick. Nice step from Nice Declan. step by Mick up to Ito, who pops it into the midfield, controlled by Ashland. Hmm. Okay, that's a indirect <coughs> in a dangerous spot. Let's see if Ashland can do a little bit more with this one. Oh, well, it's much further away than the last one. That's oh, even further than I thought. Well, they'll be able to get it into the box. They've been doing that nicely, consistently so far. Chest it out. Picked off easily by Pat Krantz. Several of the players on Ashland seem to be calling for a handball every time it yeah. comes off a Hopkinton chest. Um, maybe that's worked for them in the past. Schnorr on the ball now, pulls it back, trying to do too much with it back there, from my taste. <laughs> <laughs> Beat one man and pass it off, that's what my dad always used to say. Former coach at Fordham University, my dad. Iron Major. Yeah. 
Ashland pushing forward, broken up by Hopkinton. This is uh, Arian Saga maybe on the ball. Ashland coming forward strongly here. Good pressure by Mashad. Oh, nice step by Peter D. McKelly. He's controlling the ball now. He's got some time. He's got time. Mashad on the wing. Yes, beautiful through ball to Mashad. Oh. It runs through his legs, but he's still got it. He's still got it. He pulls it to the inside. And he's got help with Ito. D. McKelly's into the play now. He's going through. Mashad pulls it towards the middle. Finds Curtin, I think. And uh, he's looking for the through ball there to Fazington, but picked off by the goalkeeper. That was a pre-developing play. And Mashad just lost the ball for a second. Yeah. Okay, now Ashland's controlling number 10, out to number seven, back to 15. I can read the numbers on the near side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful defensive play by Dylan Mick. This is Ashlyn. Number 15 with the ball, pulls it back. Number two, playing in tight spaces. Both teams comfortable playing in tight spaces, making really tight passes. This is a dangerous uh, spot for an indirect free kick for Ashland. Spino and Ortiz on the wall. Ortiz crosses it, Gone picks it off. Now number two, Donovan. Number 10. <coughs> now that's a free kick in a dangerous spot here for Ashland. He's holding his hand up, so that's an indirect free kick. Again, it's tough to make a wall defend against these. Schnorr and Gahn, the partial wall in the middle. Both of them attacking strongly. Well done. Off Andrew. It's going to be a kick in for Ashland. Five minutes remaining here. Step Schnur. by Ito. Schnur's got the ball. He's bringing it down the wing. He's got three men to beat. Looking to take it down wide. Kicked out of bounds by Ashland. It's going to be a Hopkinton kick in. Coming into the game um, for Hopkinton is Colin Devan. Um, he's going to go in it right back for Peter D. McKaylee, who's had a great game. Okay, Schnur now on the ball, crosses it to a dangerous spot, but the goalkeeper <coughs> was there before uh, Samaga could get there. Okay, the goalie has cleared that ball too far over the half line, so that's gonna be a free kick for Hopkinton. Going to be an indirect kick, so somebody needs to touch this. It touches it short to Ito. Ito moves it nicely and move forward. Rashad now beats his man, but second man got him. Ito. Now Ashland's controlling the center of midfield. Ashland still got the ball, put it through, but there's nobody there. <coughs> and uh, Krantz charges out to 
clears it directly to Owen Schnorr. Passes it off to Vasington. Back to Schnorr. And that's run out of bounds for uh, Ashland Kicken. Coaches are discussing the rules here on the uh, sideline. This is a strong run by number three. Andrew Gons. Oh. Oh, that's a terrible call. All right. Well, there you have it. It's going to be a free kick for Ashland at the top of the box. Two minutes and 40 seconds left in the game. Well, Andrew had actually was actually in front of he him. He was in front, so I closer I, to the ball. Yeah. This is hard to understand that call. Well, he got him. Pat was too far off his line. It's a very well played <coughs> shot uh, by number seven for. Yeah, at the 207 mark. Luis so Manes. Under two minutes now. Official time is kept on the field. So Hopkinton's got some work to do here. Less than two minutes left in the game to avoid another tie. Schnoor. Stolen by Ashland. Michaud steals it back. Well played by Michaud. You're wasting valuable time here. A lot of confusion here with what whistle, what ball. Used a good 45 seconds of the Deflected there. Now Curtin. Picked off by Ashland. Number seven, Monis, the goal scorer on the ball. Nice turn. Nice turn by our Mateus. Another shot by uh, Ashland. This is running down the wing to Schnorr. Rashad, Schnorr. Looking for, looking for Rashad. Fazington cleared by Ashland. Well played by Farrell, importantly. Now gone. Well, that's the game, folks. So at the end of the regulation, we have Hopkinton Hillers won and the Ashland Clockers won. Kind of a disappointing ending, Frank. The Hillers really came on strong after the first period and controlled the run of play for the next three periods and just one, one bad play and tie game. Yeah, really they, they um, seemed like they had the game comfortably in hand. They'll feel like this one uh, was stolen from them by the uh, by the referee there with that last minute uh, call against uh, Andrew Gaughan. Yeah, so the boys will play again tomorrow night, <clears throat> 5.15 at Ashland. And then next uh, weekend is the final weekend of the season, of the season against the Bellingham. So for John Ritz, Frank Schneer, I'm Steve Sweetapple, and we'll see you next weekend.